Come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Let your spine grow from the pelvis. Allow there to be a sense of lightness and lifting from the base of the pelvis all the way up to the crown of the head. And just breathe your awareness. A few minutes of deep breathing does wonders for the nervous system. It actually scientifically has been shown to calm it down. Two minutes is all you need. But two minutes of really deep breaths. So let's take those two minutes now and just explore the breath. Allow your shoulder blades to relax down your spine as if the bottom tips of the shoulder blades are moving downwards, downwards towards the sacrum. Allow the crown of the head to float high to the sky. And on the front of the body, notice a gentle lift. The pubic bone slightly lifts up, the frontal hip bone slightly lift up, and the sternum bone from top where it attaches to the collarbones down to bottom, what's called the xiphoid process where it attaches to the floating ribs. So that sternum bone stretches like a bow. It stretches and grows longer. And into that lift in that space, continue to welcome your breath and welcome your awareness. Welcome your intention, perhaps, for showing up today. And take three more deep breaths together. Allow the breath to be as slow and yet as powerful as possible. Stretch out your inhale. and gently lengthen and stretch out that exhale. And take one more cycle of breath. As you exhale, release the breath, softly open your eyes, walk your fingertips forward, give yourself a little stretch. As you inhale, glance forward. As you exhale, lengthen and fold. Move the head left a little, and then to the right a little, as if you're just softening the neck. Maybe one more time, shift the head to the left and to the right. And then gaze forward, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, walk your fingers full deeper. Relax the head, neck, and jaw. Press through the fingertips. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. And walk your hands back into center. <clears throat> Interlace your fingers. Turn your arms forward and up. Stretch. Hug those forearms in. That's it. Grow taller from the belly. Remember all that alignment we just worked on. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, open the arms and release, okay? A little side body stretch, neck opening, reach your right arm up and over, stretch. Lengthen through the fingertips, push down with the outer edge of that right hip, inner edge of the sit bone, and then reach the right arm up and over. Relax the left ear towards the left shoulder, and you can walk your left hand in a little. The key is to let the head relax. For me, it helps to drop the chin towards the inner shoulder. And imagine the head is like a mango or a coconut. It just hangs off the tree, but your outstretched arm is working. So breathe into that right shoulder as you inhale. As you exhale, reach, reach, reach. Stretch it away from the neck. One more breath, breathe and stretch. And then listen, don't move the head, but take that outstretched right arm and lower it slowly, slowly down to the ground, slowly like you're stretching it longer. Don't move the head, pick up your left arm, the one that was on the ground, bend the elbow, and bring it around the top or side of the head. And then instead of pulling, apply downwards pressure. So inhale deeply. If you wish more of a stretch sensation, exhale, apply gentle downwards pressure. One more breath, inhale and exhale. And then don't lift your head, remove your left arm and roll your chin, your head into neutral. This is really important so you don't strain the muscles you just stretched. Take a deep breath, exhale completely. Bring the heel of your hand to your forehead. Imagine your head weighs 50 pounds and it takes two full breaths to slowly bring that head back up into neutral. Good. All right, take a look which leg is in front. Bring your legs out, take it easy. You can bend your knees or legs straight in Navasana to activate the core and then switch the cross of your legs and sit back down. Interlace your fingers, turn your arms forward and up, stretch. Take a deep breath. Hug the forearms in, grow longer, longer, inhale. Exhale and release. Other side, walk your right arm out, reach your left arm up and over, stretch. Grow longer. Attempt to keep the shoulders and the chest facing forward and not rounding down for this stretch. One more breath. And then reach that left arm up and over so it's about even with the shoulder. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. 
and explore. You may need to walk your left arm in. Uh, sorry, walk your right arm in, excuse me. Keep your left arm outstretched. You may need to drop your chin down towards your inner right shoulder. Wherever you land, take a deep breath. Reach, reach through that left arm. Stretch, stretch it away from the neck and the jaw. Keep the head relaxed. Inhale. Keep that left arm stretching, stretching. One more breath. And then don't move the head. Lower, lower that straight left arm. Lower, lower slowly till it stretches longer. When it touches the ground, pick your opposite arm up, right arm up. Bend the elbow. Take the hand to the back of the head or the skull. Gentle downwards pressure. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale completely. And last breath. Release the hand, roll the head, chin into neutral. Take a deep breath in neutral. Chin faces the chest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exhale completely. And then once again, remember, imagine your heel of hand to forehead. Imagine the head weighs 50 pounds, and it takes two full breaths to slowly bring it back to up. Good. From here, roll the shoulders up and back. Roll the shoulders back and forward one more time. Come into your version of Navasana. So hands to the thighs is acceptable. Knees bent, legs straight, fingers reaching forward. If you feel a gripping here, and this is working more than your abs, I would bend your knees and even bring the hands to the thighs. You can make this very challenging. Fingertips. <clears throat> Interlace your fingers, but your index finger if you're not touching your thighs, and reach. Stretch, grow longer, reach the chest forward, pull the knees in. You can also modify from here, right? And stretch this way. <clears throat> Take one more breath and then twist, twist to one side. <clears throat> pull the knees, ties in tighter. Inhale, twist to the other side. Pull the knees, ties in tighter. Come back to center. Grab a hold of your toes, stretch the legs, balance so your legs are in a V. You can bend your knees here as well. If you can go straight legs, go straight legs. Lift the chest up. Bring the feet back together. And then take your hands down and lower your head down. Reach your legs to the sky. Interlace your fingers around your skull. Support your head lower. So we're going to go one leg at a time. I'm not going to mirror image. Lower your right leg. Keep your left leg lifted. And then switch. And it'll get more challenging in a moment. Lower your left leg. Keep your right leg lifted. And switch. Repeat, I'm gonna move a little bit away from the wall. Lower your right leg, keep your left leg lifted. Good, switch. Lower your left leg, keep your right leg lifted. Okay, here's where it gets fun. Both legs up, lower your right leg. Externally rotate, make a wide circle like a half helicopter, bring it back up to the left. Okay, repeat, same leg, lower the right leg. Half circle, externally rotate out and up to the left. Okay, switch legs, lower the left leg. Externally rotate, wide circle, and bring it up to the right. Repeat, left side, lower the left leg, wide circle, <clears throat> bring it up to the right. Okay, now we bring it all together. Lower the right leg, bring both legs around in a circle, bring the left leg back up to meet the right. Switch, lower the left leg, both legs move out around in a circle, right leg comes back to meet the left. Repeat, right leg lowers, helicopter the legs around, exhale, left leg lifts back up. Left leg lowers, helicopter the legs around, exhale, lift the right leg back up. You can modify by keeping your knees bent, okay? So you could do this version, knees bent. Two more cycles, right leg lowers, head can be down or lifted. Helicopter the legs, lift the left leg back up. Left leg lowers, stay engaged in the core, helicopter the legs. Right leg back up. One more cycle, right leg lowers, legs wrap all the way around, exhale, left leg lifts. Left leg lowers, legs wrap all the way around, exhale, right leg lifts. <laughs> Good. Good work, hope you guys had fun. Bridge pose, stretch out the abs, feet down, robot arms, lift chest, lift pelvis. Don't so much tuck your shoulder blades under, it's just make sure they're on your spine because it's easy to over tuck, especially if you've got neck stuff. And then palms down, one version, right? Fingers interlaced, second version, or stay with robot arms. Final version would be grab a hold of the ankles, but I don't think we're warm enough for that yet. So <clears throat> I'm going to demo this version. Robot arms, take a deep breath. Lengthen your glutes, stretch out the abs. 
and then bring your right knee to your chest, stretch your right leg to the sky, extend and lower, all the way down if you can, bend the knee, release, bring your left leg to the chest, left leg to the sky, extend and lower, try not to move the hips, bring your left foot back in, slowly lift the heels, curl the tailbone up, unwind upper spine, middle spine, lower spine. Come into a happy baby, grab a hold of the outer edge of the feet, Rock just a little bit to your left and to the your right. And then back to center, take a deep breath. Exhale completely. All right, bring your knees to your chest. <clears throat> Easy twist, twist to one side, reach your opposite arm out. Back to center, twist to the second side, reach your other arm out. And then roll back into center, come into cat and cow. Five rounds, I forgot to turn on the light here, so let me turn it on. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round and release. Make it fluid. Inhale, open. Think of this as the very beginning of your actual flow, right? So uniting breath and movement. Arms are strong. Notice if one hand is working more than the other, one shoulder is working more, attempt to create evenness. On your next inhale, pause. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. Breathe deep. Press and stretch through the arms. Stretch through the legs. Stay here in the pose. I'm just going to check up on you all. Good. Awesome. Bring both hips up to the sky. Everyone, lift the belly muscles more. Good. That's it. Okay. From downward facing dog, bring your feet together. <clears throat> Reach your right leg up and back. Stretch. And then experiment here. So we're going to experiment with internal and external rotation. Turn your right foot out to the side and just notice which muscles fire. Bend your right knee and see if you can bring it towards the right shoulder. Stay in down dog. Roll the knee back into the chest. Stretch your right leg back up. Exhale and release. Similar to what we did with those helicopter abs, a little different. Second side, lift your left leg up. Pause. Externally rotate. Stay in down dog. Bend that left knee. Bring it around if you can to the shoulder, staying in down dog and then roll it into the center and release down. Okay, inhale, shift forward to plank. We'll come back to that. <clears throat> Pause and plank. Take your feet about hip distance apart. Stretch, sternum forward. You can always bring your knees down if you wish. Arms are strong. Take a deep, full breath. And then let's do knees, chest, chin for the first one. This is a great modification. Pause, slide forward, low cobra, stay low. So low that you could pick your hands up, right? So if I ask you to try it with me, pick your hands up and cover. Use your back muscles, right? When your back muscles are working, then press your hands down, isometrically pull and drag them back, come up a little higher. And then see if you can pick your hands up and hover higher. <clears throat> back muscles still working. Try Cobra on the fingertips, fingertips off to the side. Maybe stretch longer and higher. And release. All right, take a child's pose, open your knees wide, stretch it out, five breaths. Grow longer from the pelvis to the fingertips. Explore the energy that awakens when we start to unite breath and movement. Explore that intelligence that is in every cell of the body. And then notice what that intelligence is asking you to do. Take one more breath. Exhale completely. <clears throat> Come on up, hands and knees pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet back together. <clears throat> in reverse this time. Draw the right knee to the chest, so I'm in down dog. Open the right knee out to the side. Then see if you can stretch the right knee up a little. Straighten the right leg. I'm in external rotation. Then internally rotate to neutral. Draw the right knee to the chest, and this time shift forward to plank. Okay, you can bring your left knee down. Same thing in plank, right knee to chest, right knee to right shoulder, right knee around to the side, then stretch the right leg back, external, neutral, and lower. Press up and back, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet before we go to the second side, forward fold, inhale, Arda. Exhale and fold, relax the head, neck, and jaw. Rotate head to one side, head to the other, back to center, 
Grab a hold of the ankles, stretch forward. Three sweet breaths as you fold, relax everything in the upper body, but your legs are working. Make sure that you are rooting down as evenly as possible from the inner to the outer edges of your feet and forward and back. You're not leaning in the heels, you're not tipping into the tippy toes, you're right in the middle. Lift your head, second side, come back to down dog. Okay, so I'll turn around so you can kind of see better from here. First sequence is knee to chest, left knee to chest, and then down dog, then left knee out to the side, then circle it up, then straighten that left leg, external rotation, internally rotate it to your back in neutral, and lower that left foot down. Bring the left knee to the chest, now from plank pose, left knee to chest, rotate left knee to left shoulder, circle it around and back, externally rotate, come back to neutral, and lower it down. Take a deep breath in plank. Option, lower to chaturanga, legs straight or knees bent. Option, cobra or up dog, up dog, hips are lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Push with your hands, lift with your hips, bend your knees, jump or step, feet to hands. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. Open the arms. Exhale, hands come back at the heart. Okay, let's bring that all into a flow. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, step your left foot back. Pause, step your right foot back, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Leg straight or knees bent. Inhale, up dog. <clears throat> Exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath and down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up, neutral. Bring your left knee to chest down dog, left knee to chest plank. Step your left foot through. Step your right leg up, half splits. Lower your right foot next to the left. Inhale, rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands come back at the heart. Second side, inhale, open the arms, take a deep breath. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Step your right foot back, pause. Step your left foot back, plank. Knees down or legs straight, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, all the breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Draw your right knee to chest, down dog. Draw your right knee to chest, plank. Step your right foot through. Shift the weight onto your right leg. Lift your left leg up, half splits. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, roll all the way up. Exhale, hands back at the heart. One more round like that. Inhale, arms open wide. Exhale and fold. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Vinyasa, or you can skip this and go directly to down dog. Take a deep breath in down dog. Exhale completely. Reach your left leg up. Left knee to chest down dog. Left knee to chest plank. Step your left foot forward. Step onto your left foot. Reach your right leg up. Lower it down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands back at the heart. Inhale, open arms. Exhale and fold. Step your right foot back, step your left foot back, plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, all the breath out. Another deep breath in, all the breath out. Reach your right leg up, right knee to chest down dog. Right knee to chest plank, step the right foot forward, step onto the right foot, left leg lifts. Exhale, lower the left foot down. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, bring your hands into center. Okay, so bringing this more into an actual flow sequence. All those movements put together, one breath, inhale, exhale and fold. Step back, plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing. Reach your right leg up. Pull through, down dog, plank, step through, lift your left leg up. Exhale, lower left foot down. Good, you got it. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, hands back at the heart. Second side. Inhale, open. Exhale and fold. Step back, plank. Inhale, move through vinyasa or skip it, go straight to down dog. From down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up, move through those motions. Knee to chest, down dog, knee to chest, plank, step through, and then step your right leg up, step splits. Lower right foot next to left. Inhale, arms open, spine lifts. Exhale, hands back at the heart. One more time, inhale, gather energy. Exhale, connect to the earth. Step back, plank. 
Inhale, gather strength. Cobra, open the heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gain length, right leg lifts. Connect core, 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 step it through. Step the left leg up, lower the left foot down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands back at the heart. Inhale, gather energy. Exhale, ground that energy. Step back, plank. Move through vinyasa. Inhale, heart opener. Exhale, down dog. Stabilizer, lift the left leg up. Move through those three motions. Knee to chest, plank, then step it through. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll all the way up. Exhale, hands come back at the heart. Pause for a few breaths. Find your center. Open the palms. Connect pelvic center, heart center, school center, in Tadasana Mountain Pose. So you want to feel there's an alignment as if the pelvic center was a bowl of energy. The heart center is this pulsating ball of energy. The skull center is, um, you can think of it also as pulsating light. And you want to connect these three centers. Keep them in alignment. From this alignment, inhale, open the arms wide again. Exhale, take your hands down and fold. Lift the left leg up, half splits, pause. Notice if you're in external rotation or neutral, come to neutral. So it'll reduce the height of your split, because external you can go higher. And then step the left foot back. Inhale, warrior one. Reach your arms out and up, pause. Palms together if you can. Palms separate if you prefer. Or you can hook your thumbs and reach, reach, reach. Hands slightly in front of the body, palms facing forward. Again, notice which one your body prefers. Where is your internal intelligence taking you? One more breath. And then release, hands down by your side. Lean forward, step off your back heel. Step up, Utkatasana chair pose. Inhale, bring the arms up. Shift the hips back. Rise, come all the way up. Exhale, open the arms and release. Okay, second round, inhale. Exhale and fold. Reach the right leg up to the sky, half splits. Again, notice, externally rotated, I can go higher. So I want neutral for now. And then bend your left knee, step the right foot back. Inhale, there one. Palms together. Palms facing each other, hip distance apart, shoulders distance apart. Or hook your thumbs. Breathe, deep breath. Grow longer. Stabilize that front leg by pressing the heel into the ground and imagine you're reaching energy through the toes. Stabilize that back leg by lifting the inner thigh from the inner um, ankle to the inner knee to the inner groin. Then lean forward, lift your back heel, step up, look at tops in a chair pose. Your glutes should work here. Okay, so move the energy back into the back of the body. Try not to shift forward like you're about to jump. Move the energy into the heels. Reach your arms forward. Stand, come all the way up. Open the arms and release. Okay. Starting with Surya B with Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale, Utkatasana. Step your left foot back, Vira 1. Inhale, rise. Lift the chest up. Exhale, open. Interlace your fingers. Exhale and fold. Shoulder to the inside or shoulder, chest on the thigh. Remember that stabilizing. Press through your right heel. Lengthen through the foot, the toes. Lift the inner arch of the left foot all the way to the inner knee, to the inner groin. Take your hands down, step your right foot back, plank. Keep the right foot lifted if you want a little extra challenge. Lower down through chaturanga. Lower the right foot if it was lifted. Inhale into cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Down dog or child's pose, five deep breaths. Lift the hips, lift the belly. Lengthen through the sides of the body. Relax the head left and right a few times. Make sure there's no tension in the neck. Take a deep breath. Now, step, hop, or jump. If you're hopping and jumping, um, challenge yourself to hover just a little bit so you don't like flop. You want to feel like you can hover, right? Hover, and then lower. Okay, so try that one or two times if you want to challenge yourself with a jump. Otherwise, step up, <clears throat> hover, and lower. Good. Maybe one more time. Hover and lower. All right, Utkatasana, inhale, bring your arms up. Stand, come up, open the arms and release. All right, second side, inhale, open the arms. Exhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, take a deep breath, weight in the heels. Glutes are working, abs are connected. 
abdominals. Move back towards the sacrum here. Step your right foot back here. One, inhale. Open the arms wide. Interlace the fingers. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Take a deep breath here. Exhale completely. Energize the front leg. Heel, roots down. Energy moves to the toes. Energize that back leg. It's trying to lift up from the inner ankle to the inner knee, inner groin. And then take the hands down. Step your left foot back. Option, hover that left foot. Hover it into Chaturanga, then lower the left foot. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Deep breath in. Exhale, all the breath out. Option, step, jump, or jump and cover. Feet down, Utkatasana. Good. Inhale, Utkatasana. Stand, come up. Open the arms and release. Okay. Inhale, open arms. Exhale, bend your knees. Take your hands down. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Plank. Vinyasa. Up dog. Down dog. And bringing all those elements together. Reach your right leg up. Bend the knee. Draw it into the chest. Circle the right knee out to the right. Bring it back into plank. Hovering. Option. Roll over to the outer edge of the left foot. Keep that right foot hovering. You can always lower the right foot. You can always step the right foot in front here. Okay, for a second variation. So option hover, option connect, option step. Reach that right arm up, reach it up and over, up and over, and then release. Come back into plank, lower down, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing, five breaths. Rest in child's pose if you wish, deep breath in. Exhale all the breath out, relax the head, move it left and right. Feel free to lift your heels, bend your knees, Shift the hips to one side or to the other. But as you move, notice if you're avoiding breathing into a certain area. It's easy to do. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, open the arms, warrior one. Exhale, release, take your hands down. Step your left foot back, option hover. Option hover, will you come into side plank? Option feet together, option bend that left knee, right? If I turn this way, I could bend that left knee and put that left foot in front. Inhale, reach. Left arm up and over, take a deep breath. Spin it down, plank, move through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Thank you guys, awesome. Exhale, downward facing dog, that's it. Five deep breaths, lift the hips, relax the head. As you're moving, do not move from the neck or head. That part of the body should always be relaxed. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale completely. Gather your focus and your energy. Gaze between your hands. Pause. Lift the sternum. Broaden the collarbones. You should be looking. If it was a triangle formed by your thumb, you should be looking about equilateral triangle up between your thumbs. Bend your knees. Use that as a gazing point to jump and hover and lower your feet down. Inhale. Utkatasana. Stand. Come all the way up. Bring the palms together. Hands back at the heart. Inhale, sweep the fingers down, fingertips touch the, just behind your heels. Reach your arms forward and pause. Draw the navel to the spine, pick your left foot up, cross it over the right. Optional second cross. Open the arms out to the sides. Cross your right elbow over the left. Option second cross at the wrists. Inhale, lift just the upper body up. Exhale, round, tuck the tailbone and see if you can bring elbows to knees. Inhale, lift just the upper body up. Exhale and round. Inhale, lift just the upper body up and then unwind the cross of the legs, fly away. Reach your left foot up, reach your arms up. From here, you're gonna pivot down and come into standing splits. Hands down, reach the left leg up to the sky. Internally, rotate slightly so your hips are square. Step back into warrior one. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, open up to warrior two. So I'm gonna turn around so I'm facing you guys. Warrior two, five deep breaths. Reach with that left arm, reach forward with your right arm, ground through your right heel. Notice those three alignment points, pelvic center, heart center, skull center. Can you keep them aligned, even if you're leaning forward a little, right? I know that's not quote unquote perfect, but can you keep an alignment here, right? That's more important to me. Forearm to thigh, first option, left arm up and over. Press with the outer edge of that left foot reach. Second option, forearm, arm lifts off the thigh and you reach. Pelvic center, heart center, skull center in alignment. 
You want to go somewhere in between? Just bring palms or fingertips or lightly put the forearm on the thigh. Reach and then stretch that right leg straight. Take your left hand to your hip, reach your right arm, reach, 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 reach out. Grab a hold of shin or ankle or fingertips to the floor or a block. Open the chest. You're going to feel your right glute engaged. You're also going to feel your left thigh, the femur, move to the back of the thigh, the hamstring. Don't let the left femur move forward. It'll tilt the whole pelvis forward. No, no one's going to have perfectly open hips here. There's going to be a slight inwards tilt, but attempt to, as much as possible, bring the left femur towards the hamstring. Use that outer right hip and glute. Reach your left arm to the sky, breathe. Exhale completely. Bend your right knee, step your left foot up. Fingertips to the ground or grab a block, play with your half moon pose. Press through your left heel, same alignment. And then take your left foot forward, 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 okay? Until your left foot's even with your left hip. That's too much, bend your left knee. Bring your knee even with the hip. Notice how much that right glute engages. Keep it engaged and stretch the left foot back. Maybe take your gaze up, bend your right knee, step back. Take your hand to the inside, reach your left arm to the sky. Option, take your left hand behind your back, bring it to the inside of the right thigh. Or second option, wrap your right arm under. Take a deep breath. Exhale completely. Okay, so this is a long sequence. Hopefully I remember all that on the second side. Spin back so you're facing your right foot. We're going to add one more thing here. Draw your right knee to your chest. Stretch the right leg out to the side. So let's stretch underneath my body to the left. Now all you're going to do is spin on the inner edge of your left foot. Some people call this fall and triangle. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Take a deep breath. And then watch. Take your left hand down. Spin to your left toes. And stretch your right leg out, 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 out until you come into a really awesome twist. You can untuck your left toes. You can walk your forearms, elbows down. There's another version with the arms here, but I won't go into that today. I want to make sure we get some finishing postures in too. Take a deep breath. Exhale completely. And one more breath. And exhale. Okay. Come up slow, spine comes up, tuck your left toes under. Use that strength we cultivated, push down with your left toes, outer edge of right foot, and then watch, just draw the right knee to the chest. Okay, so I'm back in a plank. Now I'm gonna roll over to the outside of the left foot and come into a version of tree pose, hovering. I can also bring my left foot down behind me and come into wild thing. Take a deep breath. And then draw the energy into your core, hug everything in, roll back into center. Inhale, bring the right knee to the chest, bring the forehead to the knee. Stretch the right leg back, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. Press, exhale all the breath out. Four more breaths, I'm gonna turn back around so I'm facing the front of my mat. Option to rest in child's pose. If you're in child's pose, bring the breath into the back of the body. If you're in down dog, keep lifting the front body towards the back body. And then bend your knees, make your way to the front of your mat. Snap, hop, or jump. Inhale, Utkatasana. Stand, open the arms and release. All right, second side. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, bend the knees. Sweep the fingers down, that's how low I want you. Chest is gonna to start to lift off the thighs as I lift my belly off the thighs. Reach your arms forward. Glutes half to work, take a deep breath in. Exhale, all the breath out. One more breath in. And then here we go, playing with balance. Lift your right leg up, cross the right knee over the left. Preparation for Garudasana. Right toes can touch the ground. If possible, take that second wrap. Right foot around the left shin. Open the arms. Your left elbow crosses on top of the right. Option second cross somewhere at the wrist or, in, or um, fingertips. And then stay low in the legs. Lift just the chest up. Inhale. Exhale and draw the elbows towards the knees. Hollow the belly as you pull. Inhale, lift just the spine up. Exhale 
and fold. Try and do it with as much control as possible. This time as you inhale, lift up, keep the arms crossed, unwind the right, right leg, fly away, reach the arms up high. And from here we pivoted down, 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 down into standing splits. Keep the right leg lifted, inhale. Switch the right foot way back. Inhale, come into plank. <clears throat> Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Vera one. Inhale, lift up. Open up, Vera two. Find your energy in this pose. What do I mean by that? Both legs have to hug in to create stability. I'm not stretching my right leg out behind me. I'm trying to wrinkle the mat. So if you, um, I don't know if those IG live stories stay up, but I'll do more of that this week. This whole week is about engaging the course. You're drawing energy in and in, right? As if you had two blankets underneath both feet and they're gonna go sliding away from you. The energy lifts up into the chest, up into the heart. Very gently, forearm on thigh, reach the right arm up and over. Second option, reach the right arm, left arm up is with the right. Again, modification, you could lightly touch elbow or fingertips or palm of hand. Stretch, take a deep breath. From here, stretch that left leg straight. Bring your right hand to your hip, reach the left arm forward, 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 until you grab a hold of ankle, shin, or floor. Open the chest, reach your right arm to the sky. So here's your chance to practice your alignment for Vera um, Half Moon Pose, excuse me. Your left glute has to fire, and your right thigh, the femur bone should move back to the hamstring. So you should feel, if you palpate right underneath your bum, you should feel that hamstring muscle working. Take a deep breath and then bend your left knee, step your right foot up, step up, and play first set of half moon pose. Play with balance, okay? To fire that left glute, draw the right foot out and around so it's even with the hip. Your left bum will definitely fire. You can bend your right knee, this is too much. Once that left glute fires, then maybe try stretching the right leg back, keeping that left glute engaged. Maybe take your gaze up, breathe. Bend your left knee with control, step back. Take your left hand to the inside, reach your right arm to the sky. Option, internally rotate and bring the hand right here, okay? It's wrapping underneath my waist. Second option, bind. Bring the left arm under. You can always use a strap right? If you want to practice the bind, but you're not there yet. Open the chest, open the heart. Exhale and release. Okay. Here's that sequence. <clears throat> Step your right foot back. Draw your right knee into your chest and then reach that right foot across the body through the center. So attempt to keep the right foot even with the hip. It can come higher, but even with the hip. Then roll to the inner edge. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Left foot. Step the left foot through the body and through the center. Um, <clears throat> your right foot's behind you. Sorry about that. Roll to the inner edge of the right foot. Fall in triangle. Reach your right arm to the sky. Take a deep breath. Push. Lift the hip up. Lift that left side of the body up. And then take your right hand down. Come onto your right toes. And stretch, stretch, stretch that left leg out in front of you. Either stay here with your right toes tucked under or untuck them, right? This might be hard on some of you for low back stuff. So I do recommend coming down onto your forearms. It's a little sweeter. But if your body's enjoying that upward kind of back bend variation, take that. Relax for a few breaths, deep breath in. Exhale all the breath out. And a deep breath in and all the breath out. One more breath here. Exhale completely, okay. Tuck your right toes under, draw your left knee into your chest, stretch your left leg back and hover. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot, bend your left knee, tree pose, hover, or take your left foot down behind you, wild thing. Press, open up chest, take a deep breath. Exhale, bring everything back into center. Connect everything to the core. Draw the left knee to the chest. Bring your forehead to your knee. Stretch the left foot back plank. Lower down. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet, forward fold. Inhale, Arda. Exhale and fold. Shift the weight forward. Most of us kind of dip into our heels, so shift the weight forward so that your weight feels like it's moving towards the ball joint of the foot. It's actually just more evenly distributed. Then hands behind the ankles or shins. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, if you can get your forearms behind the shins, use that as a lever to pull yourself down and in. Deep in the breath. Exhale completely and fully. One more breath. And exhale. All right. Walk your hands back up. <clears throat> Just step your left foot forward. Walk your right foot back. Either come onto your forearms or use a block or something like a pedestal or a book, right? I have a book with a cup of tea here. Hmm. So it doesn't have to be a block. You can use something to lift yourself up. And then the thing about this pose is um, the upper body is gonna be slightly rounded for most of us. Um, I wouldn't force it straight, let it come straight naturally. Okay? So lizard, lizard lunge. You're gonna shift forward and back a few times, moving from the back foot. So I'm coming towards the tippy toe and then I'm shifting back to the ball joint. Coming towards the tippy toe and shifting back to the ball joint. This is too much, you can do it with your knee bent, but then you have to drag your knee back and forth. Okay. Either way, forward and back one more time. From your lizard lunge variation, okay. You're gonna bend your right knee. We're not gonna reach back yet. Just bend your right knee, activate the hamstring. All right, release the right foot. Walk your hands to the inside. Take your left hand, not to the knee. I'm gonna show you more here towards the inner thigh. And you're gonna lean away. Like a back bend, a little bit of a twist and back bend combined. Maybe lean the head back, deep breath. <clears throat> Walk back to the center. Wiggle your left foot to the inside a little. Take your left hand to the outside. Reach your right arm up, reach up and over. Get into that psoas a little, side body a little, deep breath. Come back in the center. Okay, so here we go. Here's where we're gonna have fun with that back leg. Grab a hold of a strap if you know there's no way you can grab a hold of your foot. Otherwise, bend your left knee. Take your left hand, bend your right knee. Sorry, I keep trying to mirror image. Take your right hand back to your right foot. So I don't want to go into mermaid, which is like twisting open. I'd rather you keep the chest square, and I'll explain why a little bit later, but um, just for stability of the sacrum. If possible, and you want to go deeper, you're going to wrap your fingers down and draw your foot in. Activate from here. Activate the tailbone, so lengthen the tailbone down. Slight tucking energy so that you really get into that quad. And then if you notice, I'm not on my right knee. My right knee is behind me. The weight is just above the right knee, the top of the femur. Take a deep breath. Exhale completely. Release, second side. So step back to down dog. Stretch it out. Take a vinyasa if you wish. Otherwise, breathe here with me. Five deep breaths. And second side. So I'm going to turn around so that I'm not, I have my back to you during this whole sequence. Step your right foot forward. Wiggle your left foot back. Again, modification block, right? Bolster. Forearms down to the inside if possible. And with the forearms down to the inside, walk your right foot to the right just a little bit and start to come into your lizard lunge. Shifting forward and shifting back. And as I do this, I'm attempting to move from the pelvis. Even though the, the leg is initiating the movement and my left quad is working a lot, I'm thinking the pelvis moves back and the pelvis moves forward and it slides. Let me take one more breath. Lower that back knee down. Come on up, bend your left knee. Just activate that hamstring, okay? Hello, hamstring. <laughs> Release your left leg back behind you. Rebend the left knee. Walk your hands to the left a little. Right hand, again, goes not to the knee. It goes towards the inner thigh. And I push away and I lean to the side a little bit. 
You can modify, right? You can go a little bit closer to center. If these leaning, twisty back bends aren't good for you, you can keep it very straight and reach your right arm to the sky. Take one more breath. Okay. <clears throat> walk your hands now to the right. Walk your right foot a little bit more into center as we walked it out to the side. Reach your left arm up. Reach it up and over, stretch. Breathe. Take another deep breath. And then from here, so I've got to pad my left knee because it's that knee that's had a lot, of, a lot of help here in life, trying to keep it as healthy for as long as possible. Um, bend your left knee, reach back and grab a hold of your foot. You're gonna notice on this side, I don't go as far. So it's kind of a great demo for injuries or tight quads or hip flexors. Slightly tuck the tailbone. And there's no way I'm getting my heel to my bum on this side, but I can still wrap my fingers down and get into more of that quad stretch. And breathe. And then do not put the weight on the kneecap, shift forward, right? So it's off that left knee. Oh, that's intense. Deep breath. Exhale completely. One more breath. And release. Step it back, last vinyasa if you wish. Otherwise, hold down dog for a few breaths. Exhale completely and fully. And then once you're in down dog, if you've ever wanted to practice jumping through, the beginning is hovering, right? The hover that all we did, that's the beginning of jumping through. The second part of jumping through is lifting up, so it might help to lift onto your fingertips. And the third part, honestly, is just practice. I don't even know if I can do it now, I haven't done it in a while, so you can just laugh with me if I fall. But my gaze is way beyond my mat, and I'm thinking legs, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. The leg <laughs> through the center. <laughs> I stumbled there. But that's the practice, right? And it just takes practice. When I used to do hardcore vinyasa classes all the time, that was easy. But uh, you know, injuries time. <laughs> all right, come on down. And um, we still have a good few minutes. Uh, roll your blanket, okay? If you didn't get a chance in the beginning or you're watching, um, if you came in late, roll your blanket up. If you don't have a blanket, you can use a block. You can also use a towel. And I leave a little bit of space. Okay, so I roll it up pretty tight and then I leave a little bit of space. And this is gonna require a little bit of kind of practice as to see what's right for you. So the roll of the blanket is gonna go, we're all ladies here today. Um, it's gonna go kind of where the bra line is. Okay, so if you're watching later on and you're a guy, it's just kind of in the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. And you want to adjust yourself so that your shoulders themselves are beyond the roll. See how the roll is underneath the shoulder blades, but the actual head of the shoulder is down on the flat part of the blanket in the mat. Now, if I go too low and it gets into my waist, it might feel good, but over time, that's not what we're looking for. Because see how my front ribs start to open, splay open? It's really not optimal to keep it down there. And if you have back issues, it's not good for your back at all. So make sure it's not towards the bottom ribs. It's to here. It's just underneath the shoulder blades. And then the shoulders themselves are beyond that. I actually open my arms out to the side to make sure my arm isn't hitting the roll. And then you can adjust, right? Like if that's too low, you wanna go into a tighter roll, you go into a tighter roll. If that's too high, you make it less tight. But depending on, where you are today and kind of the structural dynamic of your upper thoracic center will determine how tight or not you have that roll. Then bring your feet together, big toes touching, ankle bones touching, navel to spine, frontal hip bones lifting towards the sternum, lower sternum, xiphoid process, lengthening down towards the navel. So the whole front body is connected, tailbone is reaching to the heels. In fact, if you feel like it, you could lift your hips up, lengthen the tailbone, lower them down. Arms come out to the side like a T. Breathe. The key thing here is your breath. If you can imagine the breath beginning from here, from the blanket roll, and then it moves behind the shoulder blades. It moves into the chest, and then metaphorically it opens the heart, right? There's that metaphor like Hanuman, the monkey god, and he has this open heart, but he's a service and he's strong and he's a superhero, <laughs> all the above. 
Reach your arms up and overhead for a different kind of a stretch. My hands are shoulders distance apart. If that doesn't feel good, modify, bend the elbows like cactus arms. And then take your hands behind your head, interlace the fingers, and curl up, up, up. So you're doing like a crunch with this blanket roll. Attempt to make your shoulder blades light. So if you could, lift, which I can't do. I can't lift both shoulder blades at a time. So I've got work here, right? Inhale, hand back. Exhale, curl and crunch, crunch, crunch. Inhale, hand back. Exhale, curl up and crunch. We're going for 10. Inhale, head back. Exhale, curl and crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stay connected in the legs. Keep pressing down through the heels, big toes, ankle bones touching, toe spread. We're going to go for three more. Inhale, curl, curl and crunch. Make your shoulder blades light, light, light. Two more. Inhale. And curl. And one more, inhale <clears throat> and curl. All right, use your forearms. It's gonna be a little awkward. Pull yourself up like a fish pose. Okay. Walk your elbows, forearms back. My teacher, Annie, used to call this Venice Beach pose. Wiggle your toes back and forth. <laughs> In the days when we used to be able to go to the beach. <laughs> All right, fish pose from here. Let the head drop back. Walk the forearms forward even more. <clears throat> Maybe the head touches the blanket, open the chin, open the throat. <clears throat> and then slowly bring yourself back up. Use one hand, roll the blanket out of the way, come back onto a flat back, draw left knee into the chest. Then interlace your fingers around the left hamstring, stretch the left leg up to the sky. Move your hands down to that point where the femur connects with the lower, um, almost with the lower glute, glute men and uh, base of the hamstring, like right here underneath your bum, and press, press your thigh into your hand, press. Press, 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 your left leg should be working. And then lift your right foot up if you want, but not too low. I've lifted up at least a foot. <clears throat> okay, once you've got that descent of the left femur, reach your arms to the ceiling, hug everything in, and then bend your right knee, bend your left knee, hug it in. Stretch your left leg down on the ground, keep your right knee bent. Stretch your right leg to the sky. Interlace your fingers around the right hamstring. Press femur to hamstring. <clears throat> Engage that right leg so it's working. Option, lift the left foot up about a foot and a foot and a half off the ground. Reach both arms to the ceiling, hug the belly to the sky. And then bring both knees into the chest. One last bridge pose, feet down. Lift your hips up. <clears throat> robot arms or interlace your fingers underneath you if your shoulders are a little more open. Breathe. You want to go for that final variation. Walk your feet in a little. Grab a hold of your ankles. Stretch. Hips. Your glutes are working. They're pressing up and they're lengthening towards the hamstrings. They're not squeezing. You're not squeezing the sacrum. It's like if you had a pencil there, you would not be holding that pencil in your tush. But you're Bum would be lengthening, lengthening. Take one more breath. Lift the heels if you took that variation. Curl the tailbone up, everyone slowly, like Pilates style, articulate the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Slowly, 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 slowly. <clears throat> and then stretch your legs straight. If you need one more twist, go for it, All right? One knee over and across, or both knees into center. <clears throat> both knees over and across. And then once you're ready, come to Shavasana, final resting pose. Totally acceptable to move left and right a few times, kind of adjust the shoulders and the pelvis till you feel relaxed. And then let it go. Stay in Shavasana. I'm going to sit up so I can talk you through it, but let the quote unquote alignment go and just enjoy a few moments of relaxation. Let the body settle. All that mindful focused effort on maintaining a form on breathing through that form consciously let that effort go notice your inner self notice the vibrant inner you 
expansive, bright inner self. And if the mind is attempting to create a dialogue, especially a judgmental negative dialogue, take a moment and turn down that dial. Imagine it's a radio station, you are quite literally turning it all the way down to zero. Come back to that inner self, that expansive self. The part of you that's not defined by your status socially, your job, your appearance, right? The part of you that's pure energy, pure potential. And into that potential, imagine that you are increasing the light, right? If you walk into a room that's dark, you've got a dimmer switch, and you turn up that dimmer switch, and you're increasing that inner light. If you have a spiritual or religious practice, make this meaningful to you, right? You can think of inviting God or spirit or increasing the vibration of your higher self. I, I'm not here to give you words, and I'm not here to give or attach judgment. I just want to encourage you to connect to the part of you that lights you up. And from that space of being really lit up and really powerful, really open, start to bring your breath back into the physical space of your body. Notice your fingertips. Notice your shoulders. Notice the breath moving into the belly, the low back. Notice your pelvis. Notice your legs. Notice your toes. Breathe and stretch. And let the sound of the bowl bring you back up to seated. From seated, let your palms come together. Draw your awareness deeper inwards. Find gratitude for all that you have in this moment. Namaste. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for showing.